the Lakers at Media Day, LeBron talked about getting the COVID vaccine, saying, quote, after doing my research, I felt like it was best suited for not only me, but for my family and my friends. LeBron also acknowledged that, quote, the ultimate goal is to obviously win a championship, and it starts with health as the number one thing. We're excited to know that we've given ourselves another opportunity to be available to each other. So Shannon, what is your reaction to LeBron acknowledging his vaccination status? It was great. I loved it. I love the reason that he gave why he got it, Skip. He said for, you know, best for me and my family, my friends, also for the team. And Skip, he always speaks about being accountable for his teammates. Yep. Now, we do know there are two arenas that if you're unvaccinated, you cannot enter. That's Chase, the Golden State, and in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So we know that. So anybody that's on those teams, it's going to be very difficult for you to remain on those teams, Skip, if you're missing all the home games. Th See Kyrie and Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins. And so, and he knows, he says that health is going to be a part of this, Skip. Yep. Unvaccinated, you go into a protocol 10 to 14 days, you're going to miss what? Somewhere between four and five games over that two week span. LeBron says, I want to be accountable for my teammates. Being accountable means being there, being on the floor, being on there, being available on a nightly basis. For me, I also like the fact that maybe there's someone that's a LeBron fan and they're on the fence and they say, you know what? This man, I mean, come on now. LeBron James going to put something in his body. The guy spends $2 million a year putting things into it, making sure that his body is right and be able to perform at peak condition. When he says he did his research and he felt comfortable, okay. It, it took a while, but yes, he, he got yes, to this he, point. Right, yep. right. For others that are said, no, I'm not doing it. I don't think it registered, it's not going to register with them because, Skip, it seems to be that they're dug in. See, Skip, when you send someone out to register to vote, you're not telling them to who to vote for. Yep. You're saying, we just need you to get re registered. Now, you hope that the, you, they vote for the, you know, the side or the candidate that you, you know, that you register them to get in the vote. You hope that's the case. But now when you get vaccine, he said, look, I ain't telling somebody what to do with their body. That's their choice. And hopefully everybody, I'm sure he's thinking in the back of his mind, hopefully everybody on my team is vaccinated. That gives us a best chance that on a nightly basis, we're going to be able to be out there on the court. And that won't be an issue. So I was glad LeBron said what he said. But there are guys, Kip, they seem very dug in on their stance that they're not going to get it. Extremely C. Andrew Wiggins. Yes. Who's just defiant about it. Yes. And why? He says, none of your business. Right. Okay, to your points, as soon as I heard this yesterday, I immediately tweeted, thank you, LeBron. Mm -hmm. He's not just obviously the face of the Lakers, he's the face of this league. Yeah. Everybody looks to LeBron for leadership, for tone setting. Mm -hmm. what, what are you doing? And all last year, LeBron wouldn't answer the question, right. and they, they suffered as a team. Mm -hmm. They had their COVID problems, right? Right. Even Frankie V, your, your coach Vogel, said yesterday, obviously you want to be able to, uh, to not be compromised in any way for an extended absence or quarantine. And those quarantines were costly for us last year as a group. And not every team in this league this year has that luxury, but now we do. Right. That's what he's saying because... Remember it, it caused Schroeder. It did. It, 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 didn't Caruso go mm -hmm. for a while? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, and again, close contacts. It's just... It, it's not about your personal preference. If you have a personal preference, good. Go right, home right. and stay home and don't play basketball. Right. right? It's, 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 that, it's really that, that simple. Right. But you can't compromise your team's ability to win. Mm -hmm. It's a winning edge that you have if you get 100% vaccinations right. on your team. It applies to all sports, to my Cowboys, and we've had issues already right. because the whole team is not Still, vaccinated. Their argument would hold some weight. I would really listen to them. If these guys had never taken any medication, yep. and every medication, they go home and they Google and they study it. And when they've had surgery and someone has put them under, science has done that. They go home and study says, I wonder how many CCs of this he's going to give me, mm -hmm. and I wonder what they're going to do with this. But that's not what they do. It's somehow this is the, this vaccine, if they say all of a sudden science is faulty, this is where they say doctors don't really know what they're talking about. This is the stance. This is the point where they say, you know what? I'm drawing a line. Now, I know some of these have kids. It's hard for me to see a scenario. Your kid can't go to school. Maybe you're going to homeschool them. And they have the means yeah. to homeschool them. Yeah. But without, without the uh, child, uh, chicken pox and smallpox and rubellum and pertussis, oh. they're not going to school. Nope. All those vaccines. Yes. You got them all. Yes. I got them all. Every last one of them. Everybody got them all.
and nobody questioned it because they were potential they're life yes, savers. They're life savers, right? They're epidemics within this country. And I got, that the, you had to stop. I got the chicken pox. Guess what, Skip? Guess who got the chicken pox? My brother got the measles, got the measles vaccine. Guess who got the measles? It doesn't get. And Bradley Beal started there and says, okay, you, you get the vaccine, but you can still get it. I'm like, Bradley Beal, really? No. Bro, you, you're Don't, supposed you're to be a very educated man. Yeah. And you're going to say because you got the vaccine, you're not supposed to be able to get it? That's not how vaccines work. That's not how medicine works. No. There's no doctor that has ever told a patient, now I'm prescribing this. It's guaranteed to work. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping LeBron would go one more step to say, I hope everybody in the league yes. is vaccinated because the league is supposed to be around 90% right. right now. Mm -hmm. I was hoping LeBron would take one more step because I believe the entire society needs to be vaccinated, right. but that's just me. I believe that Let's talk about here at Fox. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact we have some people who are unvaccinated. Yes. We're all still with mask mandates mm -hmm. because of it. I only care about winning. I don't care about working right. as much as I want to win. Right. I don't want to get threatened with potential COVID protocols right. that I would have to go through right. because other people around me are still unvaccinated. Correct. Right? Yes. There may be mandates that you have to get vaccinated within the company yeah. to work at the company, yeah. but as we I stand, hope so. I hope so too. But as we stand right now, when we walk the halls here, we have a Ma mask on. Correct. Right? Yes. Okay. And when we drive in the, the, the lot here at Fox mm -hmm. in the morning, do you not get quizzed about yes. have you had any Absolutely. symptoms? Okay. Yes. So we're still there. I'm still getting tested. I think you get tested every once in a every while. Every once in a while. Okay. So the, the point is, it's for life. It's for everybody. Mm -hmm. it, it's for herd immunity. Right. We, we all need to get vaccinated. Right. And I, I hope LeBron would make more of a statement than he made just about winning for his and protecting his own team. Right. But at least that was a huge start to right. me. Actually, Anthony Davis went much further, and I got his quote right here, and it didn't gain much traction last mm -hmm. night. But Anthony Davis said, so I think that's the main focus for us, making sure that our organization is doing everything we can to help the world, to help the community, and do our right. part. Yes. Okay, well, I love that because yes. that's that's a bigger picture yes. view of it. Mm -hmm. LeBron's on a hot seat because he is the face of mm -hmm. the league. Right. And he doesn't want to say something that would offend Kyrie or put Kyrie right. in a worse right. position. Right. Or Andrew because, because then it's going to be, three, oh, he, take, he only taking a shot at Kyrie because Kyrie left him in Cleveland. Okay, okay. You, you know that's where that that's going with that. You know what? I'll buy that. That's a bingo. <laughs> I, I would agree. But still, in the biggest picture, LeBron said he had skepticism about it for yes. the longest time. Mm -hmm. He kept getting asked about it last year. Uh, he would duck and dodge the question. Right. But he came full circle to, I need to help protect our team. Right. This is improving our ability to win this year's championship. You better believe it will improve. Skip, do you know how many guys, there are a lot of guys in the NFL that's taken toward all. Oh, God. That's taken Percocet, that's oh. taken Vicodin, oh. that's taken Naproxen, that's taken Celebrex. Now all of a sudden, they've taken all those things which have shown, and the, they told me when I was getting it, Skip, they told me. Especially get, Toradol, it's been such a get you Get your boy some, because mm. I need to be able to go out there and play, mm. and I deal with the ramifications later. Mm. How can I draw the line, Skip, mm. knowing that they're giving me something, and they told me yep. what it can do to me later? Mm hmm how can I draw the line with the vaccine? Talk about, nah, man, you know, science, science. Well, science kept me on the field. Mm -hmm. It kept me playing at a high level. That's what science did. It did. It left you in some... <laughs> yeah, some, yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> left you with a fake hip, right? And, and another one coming yeah, another in February. Coming. Okay, but that's... <laughs> but I'll be bionic. Okay, but but you wouldn't give it up. I mean, no, that, that no. was... You Go back and do it all it. over again. You, know, you do it Dislocate again. Dislocate elbow, pressure. Come on, you, you just do it because yeah, it's, it's what you wanted to do. Yes. Okay? And if you want to go home and be unvaccinated, I'm great with that. Yeah. I respect that. But you, you can't bring it to the confines no. of work, yeah. right? Right, exactly. So even Kent Bazemore said he was sort of the last holdout here and he said I, I didn't like it in the start because it was forced on me and a lot of people feel like well you can't the right. government can't force me they to force seat belts on you okay well that's you better right. wear your seat belt. Hey, what, 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 skip you got brakes you got airbags yep. you got seat belt well if i got brakes what do i need seat belts and airbag for mm -hmm. don't let the police see you without your seat belt and see what happened that is correct so in the <laughs> end rob palinka called kent Bazemore and had a heart to heart with him and turned him around right that he plays with right. and for, he got vaccinated. Right. Skip, how this gonna be? You got 13, 14 guys, nobody got masks on, they'll be able to do everything, and you sitting there with a mask. You gotta stand off in a corner. You gotta eat by yourself. Right. 
And if somehow you test positive, all of a sudden you're gone for a long time. And They're then, going to make it hard on you. And you test positive, and then you got close contact. Yep. Man, they're they going to be looking at you like, for real, dude? You just got to get vaccinated. It, it works. And I know there are some side effects, but for the most part, the, maybe it's my circle's pretty small, but most people I know don't have I side I know effects. COVID got a side effect, too. It's, it's called death. One. It's called death. And, <laughs> and, it's, and, it's, and it's still happening. Yeah. Yes. That's, the, that's the side effect that you don't want. It's called Delta variant. Yeah. And it's even more wicked than the first round. Yeah, we all want to get to the other side of this mm -hmm. thing, right? That's the goal, right? All along. Uh, okay. We're going to be watching this. And Manny Pacquiao, big news here, is mm. retiring from boxing.